Hello, this is Dylan Cho from Everlook Photography. Uh, today I'm going to be covering how to bring some texture to very selective areas of a photo um, using just one of many particular techniques. So this is an image taken from Lake Oberon that I've uh, already edited and I've edited it to give a bit of a dreamy soft look but look, one of the areas that I might want to make stand out more is for instance all of these droplets on the pandani leaves here. So I'll get straight into it duplicate your background layer Oops. control J is the shortcut not control K filter other high pass and uh, now you don't need to go that high basically start from a low radius until you can actually see the area of interest like the droplets being accentuated there so you don't need to go too severe there click OK now leave it in normal mode and bring up the levels by control or command L and um, what you can do is you can bring all of this back so it's brighter and give it more contrast and you can see the edge is really really standing out okay usually I bring it uh, roughly to where the um, the curve meets the baseline from the bright end and um, leave it uh, slightly off on the other side so that the image doesn't get too dark so click OK and I'll change the blend mood to overlay and you can see it's really uh, defined um, everything but you're going to blend it in just for these uh, the areas that you want to have more detail so create a layer mask invert it get a white brush I hate this bug in Photoshop um, white brush maybe you know 25 percent or so and just slowly brush it in just the particular areas that you want looking very very defined and that is it thank you for listening and I'm sure there are other alternative methods but I found this one to be particularly useful as one of the last stages of the process so thanks again for listening hope you enjoyed that and learned something